Yo yo yo, it's your boy here, Magic, with another YouTube video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about what happened at E3. I know it happened two weeks ago, but I don't give a shit what happened two weeks ago. The thing is, is that some news dropped of a new Xbox One controller that's gonna be coming out here in the market. And man, this Xbox One controller looks like a scuff killer, especially for what it's coming with, what it performs, or what it's pretty much giving the consumer and for the price too compared to a scuff controller so at e3 microsoft you know released a new thing that they wanted to remap or remake the controller they heard the community they did not like how i personally don't like the controller but they heard the community complain about the the microphone jack port you can't talk with your with your teammates uh, in games because you don't have the same micro microphone jack right um, the controller's weak, the thumbsticks feel really weird, they're small, um, you know, the buttons are fragile, blah blah blah, this and that, uh, 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 cry cry cry, but Microsoft finally responded to everybody's crying, everybody's whampering, and finally they have released a controller for the elite gamers, that's what they stated, um, it's a pretty much a scuff controller. It's just a Microsoft edition of a scuff controller, and I really feel like scuff really has a competitor now compared to like f the functions of a controller. Because man, this controller elite or this controller that's coming out supposedly in the fall or in August. I don't know when it's gonna come out. It's a hundred and fifty dollars compared to a scuff. A scuff is around two hundred. 250 bones that's a lot of money that's a lot of money for me me personally i haven't bought a scuff controller yes i haven't bought a scuff controller i play without a scuff i have ever since ever since i was on the 360 on black ops one i always wanted a scuff but the thing is is that i never got one because it's too much money and it's embarrassing to go up to your parents and be like yo I want a fucking hundred and fifty dollar controller. N no, it's not gonna happen. That's like one third of the console right there. Uh, no, it's not gonna work. You know, um, I usually had have to work for my stuff, and that's a whole different story. But it's a hundred and fifty dollars this controller, which is like uh, around a hundred dollars less, uh, eighty dollars less than its um, competitor, which is Scuff. Um, the controllers are amazing. It looks like you can detach the thumbnails or the thumbsticks, replace them with the dome, kind of like a PlayStation 3 controller. Take off the D-pad. There's different types of D-pads for more grip and different... I don't know. It looks so good. It looks like a fucking satellite dish. Uh, the D-pad. And you can take it off, have the standard D-pad. Um... Yeah, the back paddles, it comes with four back paddles for, for mat, or for like buttons, like a scuff, but four of them. Um, you know, fire fast with hair trigger locks. Man, like, you can pretty much shoot faster like, like scuff, you know, like hair trigger locks or whatever. And you can adjust them right on the controller. You don't have to use that scuff key like I heard that everybody's been losing. Um, even on the Xbox, there is the software to edit b uh, button remapping, so there's no more sending your controller to scuff for them to map your, your, your buttons anymore and waiting for weeks. I heard that was an issue. Or when you actually, you need to make sure which buttons you want because before you weren't able to remap the controller for some reason. Something was wrong with the old generations of scuffs, but now you can, but you have to send it in and that costs money. Um, the, it looks like the software is going to be on the Xbox for you to just edit your button mapping and it looks like you have profiles so you can have you know I want the A button on this pedal for this game I want you know fucking I want to have the start button for some fucking reason on this this paddle for this game you know and you can have different profiles and choose which profile you want to do which for which game I find that completely amazing um, it looks like it has grip on the back uh, fuck man it looks it looks amazing honestly it comes with the case like a scuff um, it comes with extra, or not extra, but I guess it comes with components, an Xbox Elite wireless controller, so it is wireless carrying case, which is the case, a set of four paddles, set of six thumbsticks, two standard, two tall, and then two domed like the PS3, tall man, that would be amazing for my fingers, uh, set of two D-pad facelit and standard, USB cable, uh, double AA battery, so you can ha you have the USB cable if you want to play wire, that's amazing, a quick setup guide and pr product manual that comes with any you know microsoft xbox product uh, it'll be able on the xbox one and windows 10 that means that you can use the controller on the pc which is uh, completely amazing um man this is really crazy the button maps you can assemble inputs on the a b 
and X and Y button, D-pad up, down, left and right, left and right bumpers, left and right triggers, left and right thumbstick click in supported games. That is completely amazing. Um, then again, another big feature that comes with this controller is the microphone jack. They have the new one that they have for the Xbox One, which is the standard one that nobody likes nobody's microphone is compatible with and they also added with it on the side a 3.5 millimeter jack that any computer any any microphone since like the 1990s and above has been have been using you know since so you can use a fucking microphone from like the 19 1990s and it will work on your xbox one which is completely amazing they're kind of moving towards the the right direction i like that it kind of makes me happy because i kind of grew up online from the xbox and i like how they're moving forward instead of backwards the thing is i wish they did this a little bit earlier most people are already leaving going to the playstation 4 and most people did leave when xbox shit the bed you know, like two years ago at e3 but i like how they're kind of moving forward i like that um this controller would i buy it man i would buy it 100 percent would buy it it's it's at the right price and for what it does and how many things it includes it outbeats scuff any day one problem is i don't think it's customizable as in appearance um i know scuff there's envy controllers team martin controllers drifter controllers support your team optic controller a green wall controller you know a scumpy controller this and that right and it's a different logos and stuff like that i don't think the xbox one control or elite controller is going to have that just yet but that's not a big problem um you can send it over to you know battle beaver which is even though they don't sponsor me battle beaver i'll give you guys the link below um they they pretty much recustomize you know controllers and you know make any paint job they fix controllers too for a, for a cheap price you can do that if you get the elite controller better than getting the scuff um i don't think the scuff is gonna at least the scuff goes a little bit less than what they're going for i don't think the scuff is really gonna win in that marketplace unless on the playstation 4 i know the playstation 4 does not have this but then again everybody's moving to the playstation 4 i don't think people are going to be really buying the xbox elite wireless controller and, and only if they they're staying on on to the um you know xbox one but then again guys this was a big news from e3 from xbox one um more news like com backwards compatibility uh the xbox 360 that was amazing um you can play old games onto the xbox one there's no doubt about the halo series and the call of duty series are going to be transferred over to on the xbox 360 simulator or emulator and we're going to be able to play our old games that we have so much memories and bring back nostalgic you know memories and stuff like that and, and that's completely amazing a big move forward for the xbox community uh windows 10 is supposed to drop a new xbox 360 dash or xbox one dashboard about 360 xbox one dashboard is going to drop supporting windows 10 and with connect you can also talk to cortana which is a halo like computer thing i don't know it's a, lo it's a lot cooler you can play with pc players with windows 10 with the xbox one that's amazing can you know just connecting the, the the world more you can play with people on the 360 on the xbox one if you're playing the old games like for example black ops 2 or borderlands it's it's, it's amazing where they're going with this it's completely amazing i only wish they did this a little bit you know sooner maybe the year when the xbox actually came out because i felt like when the xbox came out they pretty much gave us a prototype a beta of the actual console that they were soon going to build so guys that was it that's that's amazing information about the xbox one controller i feel like it's a big thumbs up i really support it but the price is still a little bit high but better than the scuffs it has everything that a scuff would cost you like 300 200 dollars to buy and until next time guys i'll see you guys when i see you guys